had them. But you might recall that rather off-putting fire a few years back. Poof! Will stopped writing right before the place. Back to Stratford he goes. At the canon effect in Henry VIII, to which you might also recall my stern objection, sets the whole theater alight and everything in it. What am I to do? We lost everything. <laughs> the originals in Will's own hand? We almost lost you, Henry. Yes, we lost Will's manuscripts, the prompt books. We had a library of actors' sides, but as I said, poof! I told Will, I said, no cannons. I said it to his face a hundred times. Bloody poof, and we're sunk from the start. Well, which plays do you have, Ed? The Winter's Tale, Hamlet, Othello, and Henry the Fourth, Part Two. And Twelfth Night. And Twelfth Night. Thank you, Craig. How's that coming? coming? That's it? <laughs> That's all we have? Five? There might be a few more in some of the prop boxes. I, I actually I don't know. know. And I, I don't have time. I mean, there's a chance I could. You're supposed to manage the stage, Ed. And you were supposed to manage the cannon. All right. Perhaps we can admit that this project is too much for us now. No, John. He left all his papers here before he retired. But I can write her. No, you won't. You've got two tragedies and a farce to ready before Friday. And the will I knew would much prefer the show to go on. Speaking of which, you're going on for Burbage in an hour, Henry. I'm so sorry, Your Lordship. Further down the road they might. Right, then actually I just came from a play across town by a Master Shakespeare. Splendid! Do you have any of his plays? We do. An entire collection in folio. Our most handsome work. Good! I'd like to. Oh, the Shakespeare collection! One covered in fine leather and one simply bound for home performances. <laughs> Please. What? <laughs>